Well, we know that this is one of three testing sites that Greenville County Schools is currently offering for students and staff members to take that PCR test. You can see behind me the tents are set up ready to go for another day of testing. Now, you've heard us talk about this PCR test before. It's the one that's going to allow people to get out of quarantine faster up to three days earlier if they return with a negative test result. So it's something that the school district has really been excited about. Now, we've actually been looking into the numbers this morning. We wanted to find out how many people have been coming through getting these tests. Take a look at what we found. We tracked down the numbers and found that in the first two weeks of PCR testing, 4,000 tests were done in Greenville County schools between students and staff. This pie chart is a breakdown of the results. As you can see, the vast majority, about 88%, came back as negative. So all of those students and staff members were able to return back to class earlier. Now, the state superintendent will be joined by the Greenville County School Superintendent today, as well as DHEC's public health director. Mako Medical performs the testing here, and they'll be hosting tours of the site again right here at Fountain Inn High School. Now, it's all going to begin at 1030 this morning, so make sure you stick with us all day long and check back in our Fox Carolina News app for coverage.